Uh, what's up, YouTube? It's round three. We both kept seven, and you got the play. Pathway, River Glide. Go ahead. All right, draw. <laughs> Let's play Godless Shrine yeah, yeah, Tapped. Go for it. Right, and a step up. Opt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Scry one. Uh, I'll draw that shot. Yeah, draw. Uh, let's do another pathway. Two for a ledger shredder. Uh oh. Go ahead. All right. The bird's out. He's out. But he's loose. Um, let's play a sun petal grove. Enters untapped. And pass. Untap. Draw. All this, so these would come. This comes in tapped on my. If it's the third land. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, That's why that card sucks. No. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible card. Worst card ever. I'll play one and I'll cons cast to consider. Mm -hmm. I'll top. I'll bin that. I'll draw a card. Yep. Um, play a Steam Vents tapped. Hit you for one. You got it. 19. Go ahead. Crunch. Let's play a second Sun Petal Grove. Um, and then I'm going to pay two for Light Paws Emperor. Uh, so whenever an aura enters the battlefield, I can search my library for an aura equal or lesser and attach it to light paws. Whack. Yeah, it is. Um, and then I'm going to pay one black for Kaya's ghost form. Uh, so casting that's going to trigger my ledger shredder connive. Yep. So I'll draw a card. How much? I'll discard a steam vents. And then I'll pay one blue and I'll spell pierce your Kaya. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, pass. Untap. I really needed that to resolve. Draw. <laughs> sorry that I'm not sorry. Yeah, I know you're not. I'll pay three <laughs> for a pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Feel the top five, put two instants or sources in my hand, the rest of my graveyard. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I only have two instants and sorceries, so I'll grab those. These all go in my graveyard. Um, I will shock in a steam vents. Uh, put me at 18. And then I will pay one red and we will blow him up. Yep. Uh, yeah. But on the cast, we'll trigger this before anything dies, technically. And I will. And he's dead, not exiled, right? Uh, he's just dead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. And then let's see, what do I want to do here? Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking for a Merkle. No, nope, turns out there's. We will ban a Phoenix. Ooh, all right. Which will give this a counter. And I'll hit you for two. Two. Go ahead. I wasn't expecting Phoenix this week. <laughs> just had to come here and shake things up. Draw. Uh, yeah, I like it. Um, let's play our tomb tapped and pass. Untap. Draw. So let's pay one blue. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Let's pay blue and a red. Mm -hmm. And a red. I don't know, blue, red, and a blue. And we gotta have this in there. We'll cast a galvanic with flashback for three. Yep. And then. Which I had two more in hand, too. Three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly seven. And I will cast a treasure cruise. Mm hmm. Uh, yep. Which will trigger this first. So I'll draw a card. And I guess I'll discard a Hall of Storm Giants. And then Treasure Cruise will resolve. Mm -hmm. I'll draw three. 
Um, I'll pay one blue for a consider. Yep. Wait, no, 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 sorry, I messed up. That's the blue that I used to cast my treasure curse. Sorry. Okay. Right. I only have four. Yes, I haven't played a lot. Yes. So then I will use the blue to cast consider. Nice. Uh, Draw that. <laughs> Phoenix is out. Yep. And we'll hit you for five. Taking it. Go to 12. Go ahead. Of course. You're tapped out. I am tapped out. Let's play our pathway, land for turn. Use that to cast Commune with Spirits. Uh, top four, reveal an enchantment or land. All right. I will reveal ethereal armor. Uh, chain of creature each. gets plus one for each. Okay. And first strike. And first strike. I don't like you know, it. I cut him. <laughs> um, Actually, yeah, put the other one on top, please. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Um, and then I'm going to pass. All right. Feels bad using my uh, bounce spell to get my blue mana, but. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, it's not gonna do too much against my empty board over yeah, here. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> so let's play. Uh, oh my god! You know what I just realized? I didn't use. I didn't resolve my second treasure cruise with my galvanic that I had out there. You're welcome, YouTube. Oh, I missed it too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's spire bluff, and then we'll one, two, three, four. We're just gonna hard cast a phoenix. Yep. And we'll hit you for eight. That'll do. Go to four. Go ahead. Yeah, let's go to game two. All right. <laughs> Wow, I cannot believe that I did that earlier. Oh well. First time playing the deck, okay, so you're gonna have to cut me some slack here. I did play in the RCQ Here? a month ago. Yeah. Nice. And did not 
do well. I heard uh, I was just talking to Matt about that. A crazy good turnout. It was. Yeah. Uh, they had what? Uh, yeah. Like 43. 43. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. <laughs> and it's funny because that's why we switched to Pioneer. It was like, hey, I'm doing an RCQ. Right. Let's switch to Pioneer for a month. I read that in the, the Discord, yeah. Um, and I. Right when we came back and we were going to do it, I bought into Mono Blue Spirits. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's going to be it. That's what I'm going to play. And then I'm going to play all kinds of jank. It was super cheap. Yeah. Well, then I was loving my five color humans homebrew. <laughs> and I was like, I really kind of want to see how it does in the field. Uh, I went 0 and 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Mono Blue Spirits took down the whole thing. Did it? Yeah. Oh, and there was man. so much mono green because I was like, ah, mono green's been kind of falling off. And I was like, nah, no, no not, at, not at RCQs. No. Yeah. But it was, uh, well, then, so that was the second to last RCQ week mm. for this round. Right. And so, I mean, Everybody, a lot of out of towners. I mean, these yeah. guys are grinders. Oh, for sure. You're like sitting across the table. You're like, you have literally been to every RCQ this year. <laughs> right. And you're like, I have two chances left. Yeah. Like, oh man. Like, yeah. Hi, I'm the only, I want to play some magic. Right. The only <laughs> RCQ I went to was the sealed one. Oh, okay. Um, which was fun, but I just didn't get that great of a pool. And again, I'm going. And I'm, you know, I'm a casual FNM guy. I enjoy once in a while doing something like that because it gives me a chance to play against people who are just flat out much better. Than right, me. and they and are play nonstop. It's like that is their 100% pass time. Magic. Yeah, you know, I literally I play Friday nights. That's yeah, that's I, I've played like I'll play Commander here and there. Have you been uh, over to uh, Cards in the Corner at all? Are they still open for Commander? Yeah, I don't um, I think they are, but I haven't been over there in a while. Oh, okay. Um, I just got a group of friends in the area that I play oh, with. Right we'll, we'll, a lot of times we'll just do Spell Table yeah, that's from cool. home. So um, I haven't used Spell Table. I've wanted to try, but I was like, ah, I don't want to play against four strangers on Spell Table. Yeah, so. that's, that's nice being able to play with our friends just over right, it. Right. So, um, so that's literally all I've played. I haven't. Been a, I haven't played a single match of Pioneer um, since pre-COVID. Oh, okay. Um, I was playing Modern for a little bit after I dropped out of Standard. I will take three things. I figured. And then, uh, yeah, so this is my first night out nice. playing Pioneer, with the, let alone playing this deck. Right. So I watched, like, a couple videos, and that's been, like, the extent of it. Uh, it's a no. I am going to keep. Yeah, lately I've just been trying to come up with new stuff every week, and you know, it's like you have so many cards. Right. Yeah. And we don't tend to be a lot of on meta around here. Like mm. I was telling Garrison on break, you know, I like that. I don't really have to concern myself with what the top meta is. Or right. Bring what I want and play it. That's why I have you. I, this was originally I had um, the is it prowess built. Yeah. Um, and then I actually was trading with one of my commander buddies, and he had a bunch of things in the ices that he wanted to trade for nice. me. So I was like, um, I was like, well, I guess I'll take those off of him. And then I ended up um, snagging a really good deal on some phoenixes, and I was like, I might as well just build phoenixes. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. So I never even got a chance to play my prowess deck. Like, it's to the point now where. I don't even sideboard graveyard anymore. Yeah. I, mean, I, was like, I was like, damn it, I don't have any hearses or anything. Right. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. This we will try. And we will bottom. Yeah, it works out. Yeah, that's exactly what I think we bottom this. All right. All right, let's do it. Um, let's start by shocking in a tomb. And pay one for Glade Cover Scout. Hexproof. One one hexproof. What the? And go ahead. Draw. It's not expecting any hexproof shenanigans, sir. Well, it's boggleless boggles. Go ahead. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Uh, let's play a shrine tapped, and then I'll hit you for one. All right, down to 19. Go ahead. I will consider. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll draw that. Draw for turn. Um, well, this makes things awkward. Five, 
I will shock on a steam bounce. Yep. Go to 17. I'll pay to chart a course. Mm -hmm. Draw two. I will discard an arc light phoenix. All right. Go ahead. Let's play a branch lock pathway. Um, white green other, uh, unflinching courage. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two, has trample and lifelink. Oh, I don't like it. Attach it there. Uh, combat three. Down to 14. And I uh, will go to 21. Pass. On tap. <laughs> Draw. Um, let's pay one blue. Cast a consider. Mm -hmm. I'll draw that. I'll pay land for turn two. Ledger Shredder. Yep. Go ahead. And he's second turn, second spell. Each turn. Each turn. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to matter. Let's. Pay one for ethereal armor. Uh, Chain creature gets plus one plus one and first strike. Attach it. Yeah. Uh, move to combat. Sound and ten. Over. Yep. Five. Five. Because it's uh, he's got plus two, three, four, five. Down to nine. And I will gain five. Go to twenty-six. And pass. All right. On tab. Draw. So, let's do land, so let's do two, three, cast pieces of the puzzle, mm -hmm. we have the top five, one, two, it's still legal though. Three. Five. I'll take. Yeah. Opt. And a treasure cruise. Um, and I'll pay one blue. Cast an opt. This will trigger. I'll draw a card. Mm -hmm. And I will discard a rending volley. I'm going to go plus one, plus one counter. Uh, opt will trigger. I'll scry one. I'll draw that. And then I will. Would it be nice to take something? One, two, three. Seven. Pass turn. Yoke. Yeah. Yeah. Holder lock pathway. Um, let's go. Black, black, other for Gift of Orzova. Uh, Chain of Creature gets plus one, plus one, flying and lifelink. Attached there. So he is now a two, three, four, five, six, a seven, seven, lifelinking flampler. 
trample? Yeah, because he gets trampled from the unflinching courage. Gross. Um, and then we will go to combat. Yep. Swing for seven. A block here. For a four. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yes. Mm. So like I, I bounced three of your creatures and you still leave this turn five. Yeah. What did you do? A land. You're tapped out. Yeah. I had three lands. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Uh, so uh, I'll take three. Yeah. yeah and I will skills. gain so seven, six, yeah. and go to thirty-three. Yeah, I don't think I'm coming back from this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that hexproof so boy. I had some brutal. Alright, go ahead. Untap. Draw. Um, so that's and pay one blue for a treasure cruise. Mm -hmm. Wait. What is going on here? This is my. What did I just do? Okay, casting a treasure cruise. That's my. That's the seven from the cruise, and that's your hand, right? Well, the seven are right there. This is my. What's left? Sorry. This is my hand. So I have oh, okay. seven in my hand. Cool, yep, cool. Yep, yep. I'll cast a treasure cruise. Um, those are exiled. Uh, I will draw three. I've got all my two mana cards gone. Um. Yeah, you got this one. Yeah. Right. Game three. All right. Ooh, if I could not bend my fucking cards, that'd be fantastic. All right. I will take the play. Sounds good. Yeah, that hexproof definitely. Uh, yeah, it was rough. It's um, not great against some of the black decks because you know they start making me sack. Right. Shit. Yeah. And that's the thing is that you invest so much. Like I said, it's, that's the problem with any enchantments or right. like you're literally putting everything into one, all your eggs in one. Yeah, basket. you're getting. Five for one. <laughs> yeah, you get super blown out. Yeah. There's a couple ways to get back into it, but yeah, for the most part, right. you either everything lines up or it doesn't. Yeah. So is there something in Pioneer that makes it so they can't make you sacrifice? Isn't there something? That, I, know, I know there's something out there. I just don't know if it's in. I don't know. I don't know if it's in Pioneer or not. I'll have to look that up. Yeah. You definitely should. I think yeah, it's a white be a card. Solid, very, very solid uh, sideboard piece. Yeah. The biggest problem with this deck, and I'm saying it against the match with Peter, is it's very creature light because you have to have the that critical course. mass of right. So you have to mulligan pretty aggressively. Yeah. And sometimes that screws you. You know, if you. Well, that's why I needed another creature without hexproof on just so I um, could get my a way to because I had the lava axes that required yeah. me to discard, but I couldn't target anything to use them. So yeah. I was like, that, that was rough. All right. Good luck. Good luck. For all the marbles. <laughs> Oh, and I'm on the draw. Um, I'm going to keep it. 
it definitely leads to some sketchy. <laughs> you're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Or hands where you're like, I go into four. Right. If this doesn't line up perfectly, I'm out of gas and screwed. Yeah, that one just had too many lands and no card draw, so it was mm. just wasn't gonna. Almost your top. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. Tap, go ahead. All right. Draw. Shock in a temple. Yep. Glee cover scout. Yep. Go ahead. Tap, draw. Land for turn. Go ahead. Shocking a godless shrine. Cast a hateful Eidolon. Also, it's lifelink, and whenever a creature I control dies, I attach it. I draw a card for every aura attached to it. Okay. Yep. Um, and then pay one for ethereal armor. That's the plus one, plus one for each enchantment. Yep. And attach it to Glade Cover. And then move to combat and swing for one, two, three. Uh, before damage, I'll fire impulse here. Oh, okay. Uh, so it'll be two then. 18. And say go. Does that give it lifelink or no? No, uh -oh. he just has lifelink. Oh, okay. Untap, draw. There's not... This is literally the only hexproof one one in these colors in Pioneer, so the Eidolon is kind of a good like second place. Right. Uh, I'll pay for a thing in the ice. Oh no! Just about to feel with four ice counters on it. Go ahead. Let's pay one for Cartouche of Solidarity. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. And when it enters, I make a Who Man. Okay. No, it's all, this all seems familiar. Um, and then I will... Pay one for a second ethereal armor and attach it here. Uh, then we'll move to combat. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With first strike. <laughs> I'll go down to ten. Um, and pass. Tap draw. Um. Um, so on, red. I'll fiery impulse here. Yep. Um, actually. Yeah. So I'll three. And I'll pass turn. P2. All the glitters. Yep. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Uh, there's a land. Good game. Too late. Good game. 